Hello, and welcome to the presentation on how to make the most of your Staffing World experience. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Simone Bielsko, and I'm the Director of Membership here at the American Staffing Association. ASA is really delighted uh, that you'll be joining us here in Nashville for Staffing World 2015. And now, whether this is your first time attending or your returning veteran, Staffing World is always the must-attend event for the staffing industry. You know, I personally look forward to this event every year because it's so great of a chance to get to meet our members in person. And I do hope that I'll have the chance uh, to meet you during the convention. So what can you expect at Staffing World? Well, you can certainly expect an experience. Premier executive education, high caliber networking, and the largest, most comprehensive industry expo. There are also hundreds of companies represented by nearly 2,000 staffing professionals. This will be, I hope you'll agree, one of the best investments you will make in professional development this year. Now, networking is one of the many reasons that people come to Staffing World. And the ASA Central Staffing World community gives you a chance uh, to really connect with your fellow attendees even before the convention starts. In the ASA Central community, you can find who's coming under the Who's Who tab, view profiles, and send requests to connect. If you're not sure who you'd like to connect with, consider starting a discussion. It's a great way to help people get to know you and for you to make connections before the convention even begins. Here's an example of the main page for the community where you can see the latest discussions, announcements about Staffing World, and more. And you can also ac access the attendee roster under the Who's Who section of the site. So let's go ahead and start out here with some of the basics. Um, how can I be sure if I'm registered? Each registrant uh, should have received a confirmation email right after registering. Additionally, we have an express registration feature that will allow you to scan your registration barcode to have your name pr printed on site real quick for you. On October 22nd, all registrants will receive an email which includes your individual personalized barcode. This barcode is unique to you. And here's what your email will look like. You'll see the barcode on the uh, right there. And as I mentioned already, it is unique to just you. You should either print this email and bring it with you, or you can actually you just uh, use your email on your smartphone and scan uh, the image on your phone. You know, certainly having this email handy uh, will help you speed you through registration. Uh, but if you do forget to uh, bring it with you, or if you do not receive it, you can also contact us. Or you can just come to the registration area, and we can go ahead and look up your registration by name as well. Now, you know, I really do encourage you uh, to plan ahead before you even leave the office. Take a look at the many workshops. There are lots of choices um, for you, you know, to look at and really give you a chance, if you look at it before you leave, to plan your day, uh, your days, actually. You can determine which sessions you plan to, to you know, go to. Uh, but don't worry, you can change your mind at the last minute. Uh, you are not RSVPing for these different sessions, and you can make your d final decision uh, at the last minute. If more than one person is coming from your company, really encourage you to go ahead and divide and conquer. But keep in mind that your registration package does include access to the workshop recordings, so you will be able to listen to these following staffing rules. Workshop slides and handouts are available uh, to registrants online as well, both before, during, and after the convention. ASA has sent you uh, an email with the link to the handouts, but you can also find it right here, americanstaffing.net forward slash SW15 handouts. We'll be sending a reminder again uh, before and after the show, um, and updates to handouts will be announced in the ASA Central community. Now, I do encourage you to go ahead and print out the handouts even before you get to Staffing World for the sessions that you'd like to attend, but I'd also like to let you know that you can print copies on at on-demand stations at the convention itself. You can also download the slides to your iPad, um, and there will be free Wi-Fi available throughout the meeting space. So just for a list of reminders of things that you might want to think about before you leave the office and uh, come to Nashville. 
Check out the Before You Go tab on the Staffing World community for a last-minute convention tips checklist. One other thing that you'll probably want to do before uh, you leave as well is to take a look at the exhibitor plan, kind of get an idea of who you might want to meet when you're in the expo hall. The exhibitor list uh, and online form floor plan is available at the, on the Staffing World community and is also available at staffingworld.org. You'll be able to see a list of exhibitors, a description of the types of services that they provide. Um, there will also be a link to their website as well as an email address so that you can contact them. And those things are also available directly through the Staffing World app. Now I do encourage you to go ahead and download the free mobile app. Um, that includes schedules, session descrip descriptions, um, maps, and much more. You can also add notes to the various different sessions, um, as well as uh, notes about various exhibitors that you meet as well. And you can do that all right down in the app. The app is available both in the Apple App Store as well as the Android Market. Now what to bring when you're coming to Staffing World? Here's your little checklist. As you get ready to leave, uh, make sure that you have your uh, email with your barcode on it for your fast track registration. We, please remember to bring lots and lots of business cards. Each year I talked to attendees that said, wow, I wish I had bought more business cards. I'm already out of business cards. And I certainly don't want that to happen to you. So make sure you bring a nice big handful of business cards. Um, if you'd like to download the handouts, you certainly want to do that before, um, before you leave. Or you can also download them. You can print them. And of course, you can put them onto your iPad, laptop, or other device. And as I've mentioned before, there is free Wi-Fi throughout the convention space. Um, the network will be SW15, and when you're prompted for the PSK code, uh, type in Bullhorn. It is case sensitive, so I do uh, encourage you to make sure that you uh, do use a capital B there. And don't forget uh, your electronic device chargers are very important. There will be charging stations throughout the convention and in the expo hall. Um, so you know you do have an opportun many opportunities to make sure that uh, you, you know your phone and uh, uh, other electronic devices are charged up. Then last but not least, really a positive attitude. We are all there to have fun, to do a lot of networking, and to also have just a great learning experience. We appreciate that everybody um, helps everybody else at the convention do that as well. We receive a lot of questions on what should I wear? Um, so the convention is business casual clothing um, for the education and workshops. Do not feel that you need a suit and tie. Um, but you know if that's that's what you feel the most comfortable in, by all means, um, feel very free uh, to wear that. You won't feel out of place, so to speak. Uh, but also, please keep in mind that the rooms tend to be very cool. Um, so layers are a great idea. Certainly, if the room warms up, uh, you can always take off a jacket, um, but certainly don't want you to be cold during the convention at all. Now, if you'll be attending the grand finale on Thursday evening, um, this is really the nice night to dress up a little bit uh, for the for this event, cocktail party attire would certainly be appropriate. And of course, we're in Nashville, so feel free to add some booze and lace and country flair to your outfit as well. You know, for men, um, a really be appropriate would be a suit or blazer, um, you know, maybe an optional tie or bolo, dress jeans and shiny cowboy boots would certainly be appropriate. For women, there's no need to shop for uh, that special one-night-only wardrobe. Go classy country, such as a lacy dress with a cowboy, cowgirl boots uh, would be a great choice. And look forward also to great entertainment with Big and Rich. There will be fun photo opportunities and really plenty of fabulous food and themed drinks. Uh, we'll be meeting at 7 o'clock for the cocktail reception, um, and then the doors to the grand finale will open at 7.30. Um, and most of all, we will we'll tell you uh, throughout the convention, you're going to be doing a lot of walking and certainly uh, at the grand finale, hopefully a lot of dancing. So uh, certainly make sure you wear those comfortable shoes. Wanted to provide you just some examples of uh, things that would be very appropriate for the uh, closing night banquet. Um, really just consider the classy country look uh, would be very, very appropriate. Now, ladies, I know how much we like those those heels. They look great. But your feet are just not going to be happy with you uh, wearing those throughout this space. The, the hotel is big, and the space that we're in at the convention, of course, is, is spread out uh, because there's a lot of us. And we want you to be comfortable throughout the convention, and we don't want your feet to hurt. So really consider wearing those uh, sensible shoes um, when you come to the convention. 
So what about meals? Um, with a full convention and expo, lots of the meals are included. On Tuesday, there will be hors d'oeuvres um, at the expo grand opening um, in the welcome mixer. On Wednesday, you breakfast and lunch and refreshment breaks, and uh, even you know more hors d'oeuvres at the reception, networking reception, uh, are available. And on Thursday, uh, breakfast, l refreshment breaks, lunch, and of course, the big grand finale will include dinner as well. And if you do have any dietary restrictions, I'm hoping you put those, you have already put those on your registration form. Um, but if you have not, please make sure that you contact us and just let us know about those. The Gaylord Opryland Resort and Conference Center is a very large hotel. Um, so to help you get around the hotel, there are kiosks located um, where you can print out a walking map you know, in directions from where you're at to where you want to be, um, which I think will help be a really, really big help on helping you uh, get around the hotel. A good rule of thumb is to plan on you giving yourself about 10 to 15 minutes to walk from your sleeping room uh, to the meeting space as well. Now, where to go? Um, when you get there, the first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, come down to registration. It's at convention level zero. Um, and right outside the Ryman Exhibit Hall and Ryman Ballroom. Um, you also find that the expo is right there as well as uh, additional workshops. Um, the general session uh, and the grand finale as well as some of the workshops will be on Convention Center Level 2. Um, and the workshops, uh, other workshops will be on Convention Center Level M. When you come to Staffing World, uh, certainly want the first thing you're going to want to do is get registered. Uh, the registration is outside Ryman Exhibit Hall, and you can just come up and scan that barcode because you'll have it uh, with you from your registration confirmation uh, email that went out on the 22nd. Um, it'll print out your name badge, and you're just going to take your name badge over to uh, the convention bag pickup. You're going to pick up a lanyard, um, and we, I really encourage you, say a little bit about yourself and put some of those fun badges onto your, um, your badge as well. You're also going to get your convention materials in a bag, um, but all those bags look exactly alike. So I, I really do um, encourage you to pick up one of our luggage tags. It's real easy. You just insert a business card onto it, attach it to your bag, and then everybody will hopefully know that that's your bag. Uh, and if you were to lose it, it would certainly get returned to you as well. Um, now, the luggage tags are also available at bag pickup, but then they're also available at ASA Central in uh, the exhibit hall as well. So some of the important things to note uh, about Staffing World, first of all, is you do need to wear your name badge. This is your entrance to all the various different sessions and activities. Um, I also you know, encourage you to write your name and your phone number in case you were to lose it um, right on the final program. The final program is included in uh, your Staffing World bag that you're going to pick up at Bag Pickup. You're going to be writing lots of important things, session description, notes. Um, in that final program, and I certainly would not want you to, to, to misplace it and not be able to get it back. Also in your badge holder, you're going to find that there's a handy pocket program. The program includes an agenda, exhibitor list, and a map of the expo hall. So it's real handy to be able to just pull that out real quick out of your badge holder. When you get to Staffing World, hopefully you'll be in, in time to come to the uh, ASA Welcome Mixer. It's from 3 to 4 p.m. on Tuesday. Uh, we'll be in the Presidential Ballroom, and it's just a great opportunity uh, to connect with fellow attendees and really get the convention started off right with a great networking uh, session. Directly after the Welcome Mixer, we'll go directly to the first keynote uh, presentation, which is Stephen Dubner's we train your business plan, think like a freak. Dubner contends that succeeding in today's business world requires unconventional ways of thinking and problem solving. These strategies are part of what he dubbed Freakonomics, a term that became increasingly prevalent among a wide range of leaders, from emerging entrepreneurs to corporate executives. Using case studies, humor, and powerful storytelling, Dubner will address the challenges that keep many company executives up at night, including how to create high-functioning teams, forge more collaborative relationships with clients, and persuade the unpersuadable, and determine which incentives work with clients and which ones don't. Stephen will be available 
people in the expo hall after his pres presentation to sign copies of his book. I do hope you'll come into the expo hall, um, you know, whether or not uh, it's to see Stephen Dubner and get uh, a copy of his book signed. Um, there is a great reception happening right after that keynote presentation. You'll be able to see more than 150 different companies exhibiting more than 40 different products and services specifically for the staffing industry, and I really do think that that really is important. I do encourage you to plan ahead um, and contact them about making appointments or perhaps make appointments uh, this night to learn more about their products and services. Gives you a chance to compare a lot of these services side by side, and also gives you a chance to talk with other attendees about what has worked for their business and what types of things that they like. Um, and plus, you know what, hey, bring some of those fun items home um, that are available at Staffing World as well. We're going to be going now on to Wednesday, where we'll kick the day off with breakfast at 8 o'clock in the morning. And that will lead directly into the second keynote presentation with Jim Clifton, who will speak about good to great or lousy to good, achieving sustainable organic growth through engaged client relationships. Clifton will share strategies with Staffing World attendees that aim to increase margins by increasing engagement levels with clients. He also will share success stories from companies that have implemented Gallup Path Strategies which aim to create an efficient and effective workplace, forge strong bonds between employees and clients, inspire and motivate employees, and uncover the critical factors that drive productivity and growth from your firm. Following that, there will be a refreshment break in the Expo Hall that's going to include chill chats, which are new this year. They're informal discussions designed really for small groups. You'll find that in the Chill Chat Lounge, which is aisle 1400 in the Expo Hall. Thursday, once again, breakfast is at 8 a.m. And instead of though moving into the keynote presentation, we're going to move into immersion programs and additional workshops. I want to note to you, though, that the expo does close at 2.30 uh, on Thursday. So you want to make sure that you get all your shopping done uh, before that closes. And, and then we will close the education por portion of Staffing World with a keynote presentation by Seth Madison who will speak about the great business shift building next generation enterprises for the next generation workforce. And then the fun really begins. It's the grand finale time. Uh, we will clo close um, Staffing World with our reception, dinner, and of course, entertainment by Big and Rich. Um, really, really excited. ASA, everybody here at ASA is very excited about this country-inspired grand event. We hope you'll uh, be able to join us for that. For those of you that are certified, you can earn up to 13 hours of continuing education credit towards ASA certification. Just need to make sure at Staffing World after you attend a session that you go ahead and scan your badge. There will be scanners set right outside of the various different meeting rooms. And for those of you that are certified through the HR Certification Institute, you too can receive certification credit hours um, for attending your sessions as well. Now, when you're in the Expo Hall, I really do hope you'll come by uh, and see us in the ASA Central. It's booth 1114 in the Expo Hall. We'd like to talk to you a little bit more about the wealth of ASA member resources that are available to you. If you'd like to make a contribution to our PAC Political Action um, Committee, I uh, certainly would encourage you to, to take uh, advantage of that. Um, we'd like to provide you with the tour of the ASA website. There are lots and lots and lots of great resources, many of them new, um, on the ASA website. And we'd be happy uh, to show you around and make some recommendations of things that you might be interested in. And if you're a member of ASA, those things will be included uh, in your membership. And it's also a great place to network with many of our industry leaders and volunteer leadership here at ASA that come uh, specifically to network uh, in the ASA Central booth. And last but not least, a chance to meet uh, and really be inspired, I hope, by Ben Keen, um, the National Staffing Employee of the Year. And while you're at Staffing World, I encourage you to get uh, your professional headshot taken. Um, you know, you can use that um, for ASA Central, uh, but you can also use that in any of, of your other social media act, professional social media activities as well. Um, the photo studio is located in the Expo Hall. 
So there's tons of great opportunities for you to connect with other attendees at the convention. And I really look forward forward to seeing you at many of these different things. They're all outlined in your uh, materials as well as on, on this slide. And we do hope that uh, you take advantage and really make some lasting connections um, that would just uh, pay dividends year after year. Now, besides the workshops and the keynotes uh, in the expo hall, there's a few other things that I thought you might be interested in. Um, first of all, we'll be inducting Bob Livonius into the Leadership Hall of Fame. Um, you know, you will find a display that will talk a little bit more about his contributions uh, to the staffing industry as well. Uh, you also get to meet uh, National Staffing Employee of the Year as well. Um, and uh, looking forward to, to uh, meeting Ben Keen um, as well. You know, he'll be in the ASA Central in the Expo Hall um, after he receives his award as well. You'll also be able to see the CARE Awards, which are a social responsibility uh, awards given to some of the, the best examples that we uh, saw about corporate social responsibility programs in the staffing industry. And then the, the VOICE Awards. Now VOICE, uh, let me just uh, tell you for a moment, stands for Vision, Originality, Innovation, Creativity, and Effectiveness of marketing, advertising, multimedia, and public relations campaigns. And let me tell you, everybody, that this is your chance to really check out what the competition is doing and really what the competition has done really well uh, because they've won a, a, you know, a, an award um, for their marketing collateral. Um, so certainly something that I don't think you want to miss uh, when you come to Staffing World. Now ASA, of course, and I'm quite sure many of you are very active in social media and we're very active in social media um, at Staffing World. So we look forward to linking with you on LinkedIn, seeing your pictures and contributions on Facebook, and reading about your tweets um, as well during the convention. So we do encourage you, uh, you know, to, hey, continue with us to get social uh, while you're at Staffing World. There's yet more networking opportunities uh, provided to you at the convention. So what happens in Tennessee should absolutely not stay in Tennessee. In your final program, you will see that we've included some note pages, and I really do encourage you, um, you know, to write down those top takeaways. Um, this is another reason that you should put your name on your final program. And it's one thing uh, to get all those ideas, but you've also got to execute them. And my advice is list those new ideas, but really be realistic about what you can execute and then slowly keep those ideas coming throughout the next year. And just think about how much you're going to be a hero back in the office. Execute a few of those early, and then every few months after that. And before you know it, you, as well as everybody at your office, is going to be saying, well, we need you to attend Staffing World every year. So save the date. We'll be in San Diego for ASA's 50th anniversary, October 25th to the 27th, uh, 2016. Now, as I bring um, this portion of the Staffing World experience to a close, um, I want to, to go ahead and just say, if you do have any additional questions, please contact ASA. You can reach us at 703-253-2020 or sw at americanstaffing.net. We're really delighted to see you um, at Staffing World and looking forward to a great uh, week and looking forward to hopefully meeting you um, in person there as well. So on behalf of the board and directors, uh, I'd like to